Archbishop Onaikon verdict. Tinubu is not yet Nigeria's president. Archbishop Emeritus of the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja, John Cardinal Onayekon, said that Bola Ahmed Tinubu is not yet Nigeria's president until the courts have finished their job and declare who is Nigeria's president. The former president of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, in this interview with Sunday Sun, also said Tinubu is obviously laboring under a very serious liability of questionable legitimacy. He x-rayed the fight against insecurity, war against corruption, and the fixing of the nation's economy, among other issues, giving a damning verdict that we are still where we have been for the past 10 years. He says, Honestly, it is difficult to have any views of the activities of President Bola Tinubu, since, in my own opinion, he is not yet our president until the courts have finished their job and declare who is president. He is obviously laboring under a very interesting so he's obviously laboring under a very serious liability of questionable legitimacy he says the constitution of nigeria with the electoral law based on it makes it clear for post-election petition tribunals candidates for election must commit themselves to accepting the results of the election as declared by INEC, which is the agency the government with the authority to conduct uh elections um very interesting well at the end of the day it's sort of i'm not really sure what the electoral act says because i read different parts of it but it doesn't make sense for your act to allow for a rerun after a president has been inaugurated that's just honestly stupid it's literally like the people that did did not have sense because by logic if the results of the election are you know um are seen to be you know fake or if any case is brought about what the electoral act calls non-compliance because your leaders being cunning as they are or whoever you know wrote that piece of nonsense you know, use the word non-compliance, which is not actually defined as to what non-compliance is. But let's say there's non-compliance. The elections take place, and it releases the results. And then you have until the end of May for someone to be inaugurated. And still, no one goes to court. No one does anything, blah, blah, blah. So then, what is the point, right? So when you're coming out to say, oh, he's not Nigeria's president, well, you better get with the updates because he is president, it's been declared, and you already have a rigged system. So you are going to that same system that have compromised people in, you know, in the judicial positions, and you want them to turn what's in favor of who and what. A country that no one, people flout court orders like, it's anything so it's not the same court that all of a sudden nigerian or that other parts of the nigerian government to listen to dss flat court orders afc flat court order people flat court orders like the court the, the reverence for the court does not exist right so you know there are so many cases look at the case of in Americano, who is still detained isn't it over a year the court has said release the guy they have the Nigerian government has no grounds for him to remain in custody. Yes, look at what's happening. And this is somebody that has literally, you can say, has been kidnapped by the government. If we are really going to be direct and speak how things are, so is it now the presidency, INEC, that you now want to now say that, oh, they'll go back? Why would they do that? Why would Tinubu even allow for that? Right? He's been inaugurated. Tinubu has made so many decisions, very key decisions. He still he has appointed his ministers be building his cabinet and then you now want to come and say that the until the court says so courts the court that no one respects the court that she speaks to themselves if you want to listen you listen if you don't listen you don't listen but the court has no has no ground or authority as you'd expect that they would um so yeah honestly that's just what it is so you know the archbishop saying that well you know logically yes you can say he's not Nigeria's president but by law, by inauguration, by due process that they decide to follow when it suits them, he is Nigeria's president, and that is something you are going to have to get used to. Someone else says the election is not over. Is you need to really 
like factually right if you know we have lawyers that are as cunning as the system right because to win this in a fair manner obviously you need to bring your case for non-compliance but then the authority you have to understand you don't just go to court and just prove okay this because this is this that, that. there are legal authorities right and so your constitution the constitution of nigeria is the legal authority for the judiciary to make decisions and outcomes right you can also use west africa you can use some african you know um legal authority as let's say the african union or whatever but those will have to be with trade and all that but when it comes to your elections your constitution is the main authority in courts so your constitution or the part of your constitution the electoral act that was released conveniently a year and amended a year before the elections says allows for non-compliance and i have to go over this section 135 it allows for non-compliance but the courts have to decide and see whether that non-compliance was instrumental or significant to changing the outcome of the election. So now it's not up to your lawyers and ever to prove enough to the satisfaction of the court that the non-compliance they're bringing as a case, right, was significant to alter the result and don't get me wrong not that his lawyers cannot prove that but the courts have to now interpret the law and say that this is what it means that's why you know in different types of you know institutions there are actually there's even guidelines to and approaches to interpreting the law because again you can't just decide okay do, do, do you try to decide okay you know what i just believe that the election is fair and tune is the winner so tune is the winner doesn't work like that but your own constitution your own leaders and your legislators that conspire against you as nigerians will never let that happen so yes he Tinubu is president don't be fooled um probably think in the comment section don't forget to like and subscribe